Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Fake Grand Order. As you can see here, uh, it's only land time. Of course, the raid boss already ended <laughs> because they only last for a day, and I was crazy busy, so I wasn't able to actually do anything. I ended up doing all right by the end of it. Um, I got up to around... Let me see how many Magic Finder points I have. Mama. From pure... Yeah, so I started at around 100-something, and I gained about... 500,000 from it or so. So now the rest is just all up to me, but I still have plenty of materials. I actually didn't like the raid this in this one this much. I think it should have been... Um, I don't know. I didn't like the setup of it being point-related. was based off a year. Like, for how much, how long the raid is here, I thought it didn't last long enough for the point thing to matter. Um, it heavily favored people who started early and then the people who started later, you know, as always, have to play catch-up. But anyway... Today's video, I'm just gonna be grinding it out. I'm gonna be playing in the main, I think it's the food court. Right here in the food court. Um, let me see. I believe the current team is, I need a Scotty, but I need a fully built up Scotty just because I don't have, um, there we go. I'm gonna replace Berserker a lot, even though I should probably keep them, but I'm gonna try out, um, where is she? Atalanta. Where the hell is she? She's everywhere. There she is. God. Okay. So here's the basic team setup. By the way, I did pull Setonia a little bit later. Um, I, got, I, read, I was reading the story, and then when it gets to a very specific part, spoilers, I guess near the end, where uh, Herc shows up, Berserker, I just like literally couldn't like take it anymore. So if you don't know this... So let's get into it. By the way, if you end up liking this video, you should like it. If you're watching still in two minutes in after that long ass <laughs> startup of the episode, please leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. Um, I think my favorite character is now that I think about if I am thinking 100% about it, it's um, it's Ilya and Berserker. Those are my two favorite, I think. Which is really funny because I don't think a lot of, you know, there's a decent amount of people who would, but I think out of all the characters, I think I like them the most. Just because I like their uh, interaction with each other, their bonding, their difference of people. And I think Fate does a very good job of having, um, showing that bond. Like, even in Lost Bell 2, um, it shows that no matter what, Ilya's body will always, in some way, call to Herc wherever he is. And I think that's, one, adorable, two, extremely emotionally manipulative, but it's fine because I ended up doing another multi after the story ended. And I got Setonia. And I don't have any... Well, the the next event is going to be the thing that actually has... Um... So I'm going to do this because I'm not sure if she's going to be able to get enough MP back. But let's see. Um, the next event... No, not the next event, but pretty soon we're going to have a download celebration. And that's going to be the best time for me to get EXP for Setonia, I feel. Because right now we just... It's too much of a pain in the ass, <laughs> to be honest. Oh man, no, she's nowhere near as good as Berserker. As um, Lancelot, so I'll probably switch back to Lancelot then. That's a shame, I wanted to chest it out. And of course I got the worst one right here. God, really, this is just a full on sign that they don't want me to use her at all. Um, go here. Go here, so yeah. I really do like them though. Uh, maybe that's the reason why I like a lot. I don't like a lot of Fate Stay Night stuff is that they always are the first ones to get completely stomped, except for in the original Fate Stay Night um, route, I think. All right, this isn't too bad. I just I think that uh, Berserker Lot is more consistent, so I'll stick with him. It's a shame because mine's NP one. If she was NP higher. This would be a different conversation, but she doesn't deal enough damage to get the NP boost like um, Zerker Lot does. And he also needs actually NP5 for me to do the full thing here, just because it's so ridiculously hard. Everyone's so damn tanky, I say as I completely take them out. Alright, let's see. Let's switch up the team. Oh, Bond! Thank you. Ooh, some good stuff there. Uh, no. Go in here. But yeah, I'm, uh, I, li I like the, I like it only land. I like this story. It was a very interesting story. It wasn't anything too, uh, 
dramatic like there's nothing i guess that comes to my mind as being like all it's kind of like one of those events where it's just kind of like yeah this is nice i really like the production values of it of it making it look like a um magic girl girl show but to me it, it looked a lot like super sentai stuff it's because that is the <laughs> the male version of a magical girl is super sentai <laughs> at least the way they do episode and episodes things of like Oh, next episode and stuff like that. At least I think they do. I don't... Yeah, they totally do. I was about to say, I don't think they always do it, but they do. They totally do. Oh, man, a Super Sentai event. Uh, that would be fantastic. I would love to see that. Here's, of course, Stella! Stella! Also, the cold has returned to California. So currently, I'm actually kind of cold. <laughs> That's great! Oh, man. It's been such a long run to try and get some cold ass stuff in California. And now it's super freaking cold. It like literally just flipped on a dime out of nowhere. It went from super hot to super cold. All right, let's see. All right, there's a 50-50 shot. This doesn't work out, but we're gonna have to risk it. We'll risk it for the biscuit. He... Depending on what this will do, this will either give him 78 or 79. I guess to be consistent, I'm gonna use both. Because with both, I can guarantee it's at least 80%. With one, it's either, it goes between 78% to whatever percent. If you wanna know why, it's because every single hit, the damage is calculated differently. So if at any point he doesn't deal enough damage, um, he can't enter overkill fast enough, so. That's what ends up happening. 81%, yeah. So when if he was MP5, I would have no issue with that, but he's not MP5, so I have issues with that. Let's go here. Now, he should be able to take out everyone here pretty easy because he has, like, a buttload of power behind him. But let's see if it works out. God damn, Raikou. So much HP. And I didn't just mean that as a statement, but like, damn, girl, you look great. But even though I didn't actually really do like Raikou. That's neither here nor there. What am I talking about? Anyway. Damn, just barely not enough. Ooh, this should be up over here. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, why you gotta be fucking annoying with this? Why you gotta be fucking annoying with this? Why you gotta do me like this, mama? Why you gotta do me like this? Ah, uh, that's the big suck. It was just a waste of my time to have a bait on. I was about to say, if she did it again, then it's funny. Ooh. Since you're gonna waste my time, I'm gonna waste your time. Take four slaps to the face. Show that mother. Yeah. I thought about saying, look at that giant hot dog. I had not noticed this background. Oh, man. Again, I think the background and detail of this is great. Uh, a lot of things to like about it, for sure. I, I mean, I like the event. For sure. I liked it a whole bunch. I think, again, it's good. I don't think it's like the top, 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 top event. Um, but I still think it's damn solid. For Halloween, it's probably better than at least Halloween 1. I think I like Halloween 3 still the most, followed by Halloween 2, and then this one. Well, actually, this one and Halloween 2, the same. Um, Halloween Tune has a lot of good, um, has a lot of good jokes in it, um, but it, it's, it takes forever to actually finish the story of it, just because it starts off as, like, um, it just takes forever. I don't know, the, the, that's the, be the best way to explain it, is that the story in Halloween 2 takes forever to actually unfurl and do everything. It's like you're, it's because it's based off of Ghosts and Goblins. But in terms of theming, they basically themed everything I they could have I could have asked for. They themed the Godzilla movies, kaiju films, in Halloween three, which is why it's my favorite. They kind of did a parody of uh, Ghosts and Goblins in two. Um, in this one, it's uh, theme parks, and I love theme parks. I wish that the world was better, so that we could one day return to stuff like Disneyland and stuff. But we really can't. At least we really should it. That's not stopping some people. But it's kind of like a catch-22, because that also means a lot of park, um, 
a lot of people who work at the park are losing their jobs, and that's not that's not fair to them. I would say it's time for Disney to kind of fucking get their shit together and d help save their people, but apparently that's not the basic thing. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, I think this should end it because I have a Lancelot uh, 3. So thanks everyone for watching. I wish you guys the best. Happy grinding out there. I will continuously keep on grinding. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Lancelot, take us out. Bye-bye.